pensions and safety net. The cost of living crisis has caused huge financial hardship across the country and restricted the life chances of millions. The government response has been a series of patchy and short-term fixes. Liberal Democrats believe that no one should fear for their future, struggle to put food on the table or worry about heating their home. Our aim is to make the UK the best place in the world to work, raise children and enjoy retirement by ensuring that proper support is in place for those who need it. We will tackle child poverty by removing the two-child limit and the benefit cap, set a target of ending deep poverty within a decade and establish an independent commission to recommend further annual increases in universal credit to ensure that support covers life's essentials such as food and bills. Support pensioners by protecting the triple lock so that pensions always rise in line with inflation, wages or 2.5%, whichever is highest. Ensure that women born in the 1950s are finally treated fairly and properly compensated. Give unpaid carers the support they deserve by increasing carers' allowance and expanding it to more carers and stop pursuing carers for old overpayments of carers' allowance. In addition, we will repair the broken benefits safety net by reducing the wait for the first payment of universal credit from five weeks to five days, scrapping the bedroom tax, replacing the sanctions regime with an incentive-based scheme to help people into work, ending the young parent penalty for under 25s by restoring the full rate of universal credit for parents regardless of age increase carer's allowance and expand eligibility for it by raising the amount carers can earn and introducing an earnings taper to end the unfair cliff edge, reducing the number of hours care per week required, extending it to carers in full-time education. Reverse the Conservatives' cut to support payments for parents whose partners have died. Establish an independent living task force to help people live independently in their own homes with more choice and more control over their lives. Make the benefits system work better for disabled people by giving disabled people and organisations representing them a stronger voice in the design of benefits policies and processes. Bringing work capability assessments in-house. Reforming personal independence payment assessments to make the process more transparent and stop unnecessary reassessments and end the use of informal assessments. Give everyone the chance to enjoy a decent retirement by developing measures to end the gender pension gap in private pensions and ensure working age carers can save properly for retirement. Improving the state pension system by investing in helplines to ensure quicker responses to queries and resolution of underpayments. Ending the scandal of lost top-up payments by overhauling the processing system and providing proper receipts. Fix the broken statutory sick pay system as set out in Chapter 4. Require pension funds and managers to show that their portfolio investments are consistent with the Paris Agreement as set out in Chapter 5. Ensure that military compensation for illness or injury does not count towards means testing for benefits, as set out in Chapter 21. Promoted by Liberal Democrats. 1 Vincent Square, SW1P, 2PN.